on December 5, 2012, the car carrier Baltic Ace collided with the container ship Corvus J in the North Sea, 65 kilometers off the Dutch coast. The Baltic Ace sunk within 15 minutes. 13 of the 24 crew members survived the accident. The 150 meter long, 25 meter wide wreck lay in one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, which provides access to the port of Rotterdam. In 2013, Rijkswaterstaat investigated what to do with the Baltic Ace. The wreck hindered a swift and safe passage for marine traffic. In addition, potentially dangerous substances from the wreckage and from the 1,417 cars on board might be released into the sea. The wreck contained nearly 540,000 liters of oil in its tanks. Only complete removal of the wreck could eliminate the risks to the environment and to the marine industry. In March 2014, Rijkswaterstaat commissioned affiliate partners Boscalis Nederland BV and Mammut Salvage to ensure a clean seabed before December 31, 2015. Due to winter weather conditions, salvage operations could only take place between March and October. Recovery was therefore split into two phases. In 2014, the oil was removed and the wreck was prepared for salvage, which would take place in 2015. The solidified oil could not be pumped out directly. Therefore, Buscalis used the hot tap method, combined with heating elements. The oil in the tanks was first heated, after which it was pumped out. The oil removal was completed within two weeks. In total, more than 456,000 liters were removed from the accessible tanks. The wreck was then prepared for removal. Divers cut holes into the hull to prepare it for lifting. They could also inspect the wreck from the inside. These deeper investigations revealed that the Baltic Haze's constructions was so damaged that it was not possible to lift the wreck in six large sections as originally planned. In the winter of 2014, salvage plans were adapted to accommodate the conditions of the wreck. On April 4, 2015, workships began the salvage operation. A special wire cutting system was used to cut the Baltic Ace into eight sections. Using cutting wires 80 to 120 meters long, the wreck was cut with great precision. For the first time ever, two floating barges were used for the cutting activities in order to achieve more flexibility. To accommodate the motion of the waves, Boscalis developed a special heave compensation system for the cutting wires. The cutting of the sections caused the ship to lose cohesion and the eight sections became distorted. Each section also lay on the seabed in a different way. That required customized removal of each individual section. The stern and bow were lifted first. On June 7, 2015, the stern emerged from the water in a single piece. The bow, the heaviest piece at 1,500 tons, followed 12 days later. The remaining six sections were too weak to be lifted in this way. The lower parts of the ship were lifted in one complete section. The rest of the wreckage was removed using a large salvage grab. Heavy storms in the summer of 2015 hindered the work. Nevertheless, the last large pieces of wreckage were removed in late August. In order to deliver a clean seabed, the salver also had to remove all of the debris and loose auto parts. The seabed was checked using various scans. Based on these scans, divers removed the last remaining parts. More than 18 ships and 150 people took part in the salvage operation. In total, nearly 13,000 tons of wreckage was removed. 
Janssen Recycling Group in Vlaardingen dismantled the wreckage in a sustainable way. After the wreckage was cut into smaller pieces, the different materials, metal, plastic and auto parts were sorted. As much as possible, the materials were recycled. The seabed was clean at the end of October 2015, two months before the deadline of December 31st. The shipping lane was opened for marine traffic in mid-November.